Welcome back again to Frost Garage. So we're once again back in the shop. We're gonna be messing with the Silverado again. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna be installing a MSD two-step on the truck. I used to run it on the truck and then I took it off at one event where they accused me of using Sportsman. I don't know how you mix up when I launch on a two-step versus regular foot brake uh, launch because all the popping and stuff that goes on but they accused so I took it off and just set it in the glove box and never put it back on. But anyways, we're gonna be installing it back on here with the new engine set up, so I'm gonna grab it real quick. So, this is what you get. It's made by MSD Ignition. It's uh, just a two-step LS Series launch control. That's the part number right there for you if you wanna pick one up. So, pretty much plug and play setup. It's going, you're gonna have these two connectors that go to your coals, like in between your coals and your engine harness. And then uh, the only wire you will have to run is a feed from your brake pedal. So that way it knows when you're on the brake. So I'm going to go ahead, go up underneath the dash, and we're going to slap this on. First thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get this uh, hood off and set it to the side so I can get it mounted on the firewall where I want it. So let's pop that off real quick. All right, so I got this 10 millimeter nut. Go ahead and screw it on there. I'm gonna actually mount it this way so that way I can see my switches. All right, so she shouldn't go nowhere. Uh, now next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just run this harness along with my main engine harness to plug it all in. All right, so she's all hooked in. Like I said, it just plugs in there and then your engine harness plugs into it. And same over here on this side. So plug, just plug it into your coal and then into your engine harness. And that's the, all you have to do to connect it to the engine. Now we just gotta run one wire from the brake pedal to this. I'm gonna put mine on a toggle switch. So I'm gonna jump in the inside, knock that out real quick. Bam, so I got my plug and everything soldered on so it just plugs in. Going right there to the white wire because I'm providing power to it. All right, so what I got here is I just got the switch wired in here. It runs from the brake pedal to the switch, out the switch, to the two-step. And as you see, if I hit the brake pedal, it'll light up, let me know it's armed. And I'll show you from the engine bay when I hit the brake pedal, you'll see the red light coming on, showing it's armed. So that's gonna handle the wiring. I'm gonna uh, button up a couple things and then we'll put it on the two-step and try it out. Okay guys, so she is in there. She is working like she's supposed to. Uh, I love the sound of a two-step, but uh, yeah, we're about to hit the track now. So we're about to see some two-step launches at the track. So keep watching, hit the like subscribe button down below if you enjoy your content and let's go burn some rubber.
All right, guys, so we are back in the shop after running it again tonight. So she did very well on the two-step and everything. It made it a lot easier for me to launch the truck, not having to watch my RPMs or worry about pushing through the brake. Uh, got some good news and some bad news uh, for the truck. So good news is she has now run a new personal best. We'll pull out the one from this past week from Bowman off the back wall. So this was my last personal best where I went 834 with a six out at Bowman. Uh, as you see, me being able to launch full throttle on a two-step now, it cut down my 60 foot by a good bit. So my previous best 60 was a 1878 and my new best is a 1828. So Knocked down 500s just off the 60 foot by being able to launch full throttle off the two step. So that's good. And like I said, we picked up 1200s total. That's normally how it works out that whatever I knock off the 60 foot normally doubles by the end of the track. And again, she stayed super consistent. Uh, so this was the first pass of the night and we had uh, storms coming in or whatever. So the humidity was climbing and everything with the weather. Uh, that was coming in. Uh, this was actually in the bracket, so I ran brackets again tonight. And I made it to the final three before we got rained out. So first one, she went at 821 with a seven. Second pass, um, it was about 40 minutes later. She went 822 with a four. And then the last one, she went 822 with a nine. So about a hundred change over the entire night again. Uh, so still super consistent and now I can put my new press time slip on the back wall again and we'll try to keep improving but on to the bad news I may have hurt the motor so I'm gonna fire it up real quick and see I hadn't really taken a look at it uh, it's kind of late right now and I have really felt like messing with it So maybe it's collapsed lifter or something like that. Um, hopefully it's something simple, maybe a torque converter bolt backed out or something, I don't know. But uh, like I said, I ain't gonna mess with it tonight. It's like two something AM in the morning. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Hate to end it on a bad note, but stay tuned for the next video. We'll uh, see what's going on with it and See what it's going to take to fix it. Hope, like I said, hopefully again it's something small. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Like and subscribe.